Hello everyone, welcome. As we all know, the rusted Russian submarine sits besides the Queen Mary and it's being reported the city lawyers are attempting to have the submarine alleged owner, Palm Springs resident, remove the vessel. But he hasn't responded to multiple requests and the city is now considering a lawsuit. Ah, uh, come on, Jamie, this is old news. Well, perhaps. The city attorney has issued several written demands to the submarine owner to remove the submarine, but the owner has failed to respond, and attorneys representing the owner have not responded to several attempts to discuss the matter. The city is now looking into possible options, including bringing the submarine onto land for dismantling or towing it to another location for recycling. The land removal would mean less pollution, but could be costly, city staffers noted in a memo. And what about the lifeboats? Recently, in April, I visited again to see if the lifeboats have found any homes. And I believe I counted 20 lifeboats. The lifeboats may not get a second life, according to a group of historians and preservationists who worry that the city has imposed too many conditions and too short a bidding period to save all the lifeboats. They fear most of the lifeboats will be junked or sold for scrap metal. It was stated in the Los Angeles Times, this is history that is going to be destroyed or end up in a landfill said Michael, Corporate Secretary for QMI Restore the Queen Mary, a nonprofit that is dedicated to raising money to restore the ship. It's sad. So, how about you visiting the Queen Mary up close? There's no need to purchase a ticket, you will have to park off property, and no phone reservations required. Yet, here's an idea. The Queen Mary is keeping the grass green. So come on out, kick back, and enjoy the view. Any thoughts or insights that you would like to share regarding the submarine and the future of the lifeboats, please do. Thank you.